So I have a pretty nifty cell phone holder for your vehicle for those of you that may be interested in attaching it to your vent. Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Gooch, and I'm back with another video review, and this time it's for a basically a full holder for your vehicle. Um, so it's designed to just kind of grab onto your phone, um, but also grab onto your vent. Now this, I get sent a lot of products asked to show you guys. This one actually uh, grabbed my attention a little bit. Not so much that it's a, a vent pinching um, cell phone holder. And that's not really why I decided to, to do this specific review is I really thought the how it actually grabbed onto the phone. I actually liked the look of how it grabbed onto the phone. So uh, in real life, we'll get into how it actually works here as well. And I'll actually show you. Um, I've used it in three different vehicles now. And um, works better in some than in others. And I will also say that the type of vent does matter as well. So on my, um, my previous vehicle, which was a Fiat, which I've shown in this um, channel several times, um, the vent hoods or the vent veins or whatever you want to call them are really thin. And this had a hard time grabbing onto it. And I'll show you, actually, I'll, I'll bring it in here and show you why. Um, it worked, but I had to reposition it periodically, regularly. Um, every time I put the phone on there, I just have to make sure that it was actually attached properly. But usually at least once every week, I would have to readjust it to make sure it's actually pinching on properly. Um, this is going to pertain less to people that have the thicker type veins, which my truck now does. It actually has a thicker vein to it. Um, and my Jeep does as well, but that one has its own regards. So that said, let me bring it in here and show you how this actually grabs onto the phone and also grabs onto the actual vehicle. And, uh, and then I'll also show you in a vehicle. So that's the box. There we go. All right. So this is the actual holder itself, which looks fairly simple. On the back back here, this is where this kind of has this alligator type clip, right? And what you do is you just, you, you slip it over the vent itself and then you squeeze it down with this, which essentially is just putting pressure to bring this in, right? And so what happens is you get this part in the, in the one, on the one side that's actually doing the pinching. And then the part back towards the other side is nice and open because it's as open as it needs to be, right? And so you can crank it down. It doesn't matter what you do. It's not going to fully like like it's not gonna go flat it's always gonna have that like c shape out here right and then be bigger back in this portion of it so what happens is on my fiat specifically um they're very thin veins and so you would push this in all the way and have this basically rest against it and the vein was actually sitting in that wider area and so it kind of act loose and they pull it started coming out and then it would catch and then it would then be a little wobbly this way. So there's no perfect way for this to actually attach. So I think the, the big thing about this is whether or not it's gonna work in your vehicle very well, it's gonna depend on how big your actual, your, your venting veins are. Um, that said, so that part here, this, this half of it, the part that actually attaches to your vehicle can be a little problematic depending on the vehicle. Um, might be one of those things to look at your vehicle before you ordered this. Um, to see whether or not you think it would actually work, but you'll see it on the vehicle that I have now and how well that actually operates. The part that actually grabs onto your phone, though, I like a lot. Uh, down here, there's this um, button, I guess, which is adjusting the size of this. But once you set the size, when you let go of that button, it locks into place, so it can't actually get wider. And then you have these spring-loaded arms, right, like there. So essentially what you do is you come into the vehicle, you put your phone in one side and push, and then it actually just grabs on really well. And then when you go to leave, same thing, you just grab your phone and then just push on one of the rollers and pop, out she pops. I really like this section of, the, uh, of this, uh, this phone holder. This section is done very, very well. Um, it does have a ball part back here that actually does allow it to maneuver around this. Um, I've been actually having it almost straight out for the most part, but you can change that and then crank it tight so it doesn't move too much, but it will always move a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so 
when I get in the vehicle here in a second, I'm gonna show you how this works, but you adjust this to fit your phone, right? So depending on your phone um, is whether or how wide you're gonna to have to go with it. Um, I found to go a little tighter than necessary is always a little, is better. It'll actually hold on to the, the phone a lot better, but I have not ever had my phone drop out of this. Not one time has my phone come out of this actual case or out of this holder. These rubber ribs that are actually behind the rollers, these rollers up front are actually rollers so you can slip it past. And then these rubber pieces back here that actually have some, some grip to them essentially. I don't know how well you can see those back in there. Um, but they do have some grip to them. They grab onto the phone very, very well. So once you slide it in, um, it's not going anywhere. So uh, same thing goes if you're going on the road, you can actually rotate it to use the navigation, rotate it back if you want to go back to portrait. It's up to you. It's all in that ball mechanism anyway. So it's whatever you do. And so you can loosen that up to the point where it's easier to rotate if nothing else. Um, so that's something you can do. So let's go in the vehicle and show you how this bad boy mounts to the vehicle itself and then how it actually works in, in this case, a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. All right, how we doing? In the Toyota Tacoma, you can see how they have these larger type veins here. Um, so they're very long. So they have a lot of thickness to them, not only in depth, but also in thickness this way as well. So the material here is almost perfect for it. Now, if I was to grab onto this middle one or this top one, it's just gonna droop it right away. But this bottom one is perfect for actually putting this on here. So I'll try to do this with one hand, but if I, Oh, I still had it uh, fully closed from down below showing you how it doesn't close. So if we slip this on here, you can see almost how this bottom part actually rests on the bottom part of the actual thing itself, the thing that doesn't move. So if I crank that sucker tight, right down there, yes, my, uh, my vent can still move a little bit, but now, uh, and I'm right now I'm putting it near the, the actual driver column itself. You can also do this over on the far side as well. So every vehicle is going to be different, all right? So uh, I usually slide, just slide it to the side there the best I can. And let me zoom out here. You're getting a little washed out just because of the sun coming in. So then we just have a phone that mounts real quick and easy. Uh, easy to put in, easy to pop out and uh, very robust in how well it actually attaches. On this truck, I have no problem. Now, I don't use it regularly because I do have navigation and I also have a Qi charger down below bound here. Um, so not something that I would, uh, I would use regularly on this vehicle, but there are gonna be some instances that I will like it. And so I actually keep this now anymore in my glove box or in my center console. Uh, but on my, on my uh, Fiat, I used it all the time, so. Pretty neat on how it attaches. So this specific uh, phone holder, and the company that it has it is Anope, A-I-N-O-P-E. Now I will put a link right at the top of the description to have you check out. 15 bucks. In my opinion, for 15 bucks, well worth it. However, it's gonna be specific more on your actual vents on whether or not this will actually hold on. If your vents are, you know, just the, the thin ones that you can, uh, Test like this but they're not very deep it's questionable how well this is actually going to hold on will it hold yes it does it will because it did on my fiat but it may be one of those that gets a little loose and you have to keep pushing it back um, so that's something to keep in mind uh, if this mechanism this alligator piece um, I wish that this had a little bit more a little I guess thicker in the back side and that in the back part of the jaw I guess of it um, so that when you clamp down, the entire piece clamped down evenly rather than as a pinch point and then open in the back. I think that's your biggest mistake there. Um, if that is the case personally, and I didn't want to do this for the review part, but I might actually want to, to grab some, uh, just some like pieces of it, like a, an adhesive rubber and then just stick them in the back part of the jaw and that actually may fix this 100% completely. But that said, as it is, it works really good specifically if you have deeper vents. So for 15 bucks, have a hard pressed time finding a better one. I really like the roller part. The front part, one of my favorite phone holders I've ever actually used uh, without going to a magnetic or something uh, um, like that. So 
pretty awesome. Works with almost all phone cases because you can fully adjust it. Uh, I have mostly great things to say about it. For 15 bucks, I can't expect a perfect product. So that's it. Check it out at the top of the description, the link to this guy. Please comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you have recommendations for better phone holders that are also more universal, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, head, head, uh, check over at techcooch.com. You can contact me through there. And we'll catch you back here for another future review here on TechCooch. See you soon, guys. Thank you